Every statistical test that we use is built on certain assumptions. That test works with specific types of data. We need to make sure, before we run our test, that our data meet those assumptions. Let's look at four examples of assumptions that can only be tested once we have data. The first is outliers. Parametric tests assume that there are no unusual or extreme scores in our data set. Data points that could exert extreme influence or leverage over our data. Data that could change the conclusions that we might otherwise draw. There are two types of outliers that we might encounter and we would address them differently. Univariate outliers are outliers on a single variable. If we have a univariate outlier that is legitimate, such as someone who is exceptionally tall, we could just leave that data point in our data set, especially if it's not causing problems. However, if we have a legitimate outlier that is exerting influence on our data set, if it is distorting findings, what we can do is Windsorize that data point. We have a measure of income, and all of the incomes are in a normal range, except for one individual who has an excessively high income. We can leave that data point in our data set, but cut that data point down to the next highest reasonable value in the data. It's still the highest score, it's still the most extreme score, but it's not exerting undue leverage on the rest of the data set. Another reason why we might have a univariate outlier is because of a data entry error. You have a scale that runs from one to seven, and you find a data entry of 77. It's pretty easy to conclude that that should have been a seven. And when you discover data entry errors, just fix them. There's another type of outlier that we have to consider that's called a multivariate outlier. This is an individual who's an outlier not on a single scale, but on multiple scales. When we have multivariate outliers, we have no choice but to delete that set of scores from our data set. We would find multivariate outliers using a Mahalanobis test. I've already done a video about outliers in which I go into more detail about what causes outliers and how they can be fixed, so I would refer you back to that video if you want to know more.